Hello, everybody, and welcome to Jacob and Betwinkst and in Between, where we get to talk about all the, you know, the butt cracks of fashion. And boy, is Chanel stuck in a butt crack today. We're going to be talking the advent calendar and the uh, 500th backlash they're getting after they try to so ditzily fix the situation. But first, subscribe to my channel uh, so you get to hear more. Thumb up this video, push the join button next to the subscription button, become a member today. You can access extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Dick of All Spelled Together on Patreon. This video is being filmed live in front of a live audience. And um, I live stream every Saturday. Do join me and partake in the conversation. Here are our co chators. Hi, guys. Try to keep it on topic. Agatha says, or Ag Agatha Likus, Advent calendar is so funty. Uh, they should ask Deiko what to put there when you said in the last video that the price of all this good stuff was even less than the calendar I died, right? Agatha is talking about my video. I gave you an alternative to the Advent calendar. Please do check out that video. It is gift ideas, uh, Chanel gift ideas under 50 euro, which is under $55 and under 48 pounds. Um, 13 ideas are uh, listed in that video. So, and if you buy all of those pieces, it still adds up to be like half the amount of the advent calendar and you don't get one single sticker. So anyway, <clears throat> just say, thank you, Katie. Uh, Kate says, that's a phenomenal video. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, listen. So Chanel did the advent calendar. Let me blend in the advent calendar. So you know what? what uh what we're talking about uh there you go for all our canadians out there so you know what we're talking about right uh in the house uh so the <laughs> my canadian accent you gotta you gotta hate you gotta love to hate it um here it is that thing in france en pièce one one piss one piss of advent calendar is 700 euro uh, or 825 doulas plus tax. Um, yeah, this is where it's at, you guys. This is the Advent calendar. You open it and there's stickers. You can see, you can check out. I warned people 10 months before the release of this monstrosities. And I said to people, I says, don't waste your money. Nobody really listened. And then it took a TikToker to raise awareness. But yeah, I'm glad it's it's better late than never. So this is the funny part. You guys, now Chanel, <laughs> let's let's go to Chanel just quickly to the Chanel. I'm I'm, I'm checking on my little um, iPad let here. Uh, let's go to the Chanel uh, Instagram because they have been bombarded. So they they post every day a plethora of um, of all of these uh, posts, like hundreds of them every day. Just well, not hundreds of them, but a lot of them, kind of hoping that the comments will subside. So 23 minutes ago, they po they posted a Metier Da post. And, um, <laughs> and the first comment that pops up under the post, just 23 minutes ago, are we going to address the advent calendar? Um, and then the second comment is, stickers, laughing my beep off. That calendar was diabolical. And then you do have some saying eleganza, and then somebody, so about the calendar, um, so like uh, stickers and magnets, um, and somebody says, geez, Chanel, chill with all these posts and let's talk about your stickers. So I'm loving the fact that the comments are not subsiding, uh, but Chanel is playing totally numb and deaf and they don't want to react to anything. They posted a video, they published a video on their YouTube channel uh, the other day. Uh, and there were just like three comments and they were negative comments. And I checked yesterday and now they stopped comments under that video completely. But they're not blocking comments because people will get even more angry if they just kind of like turned off comments on their Instagram. But however, as you can see, people are still coming for them. And I'm living for every moment of it because they have to address this properly. So Chanel did address it. And here we're going to get to what ticks me off. You know that Chanel noticed this issue. If Bruno Pavlovsky himself, the head of Chanel, right? He's right underneath the Vatheimer family, addresses the situation. Because when Mr. Umpalumpa himself addresses an, an issue like this, it means... 
that it's serious. Otherwise, he could have had some minion deal with it. No, he addressed it. Now, WWD Magazine uh, posted just a couple of days ago um, an article uh, by Joel Diederich, or Diederich, uh, an article entitled, Chanel Responds to TikTok Controversy Over the Advent Calendar. Now, listen, I'm just going to read to you the uh, quotes that allegedly Mr. Pavlovsky uh, has been said to have said. Uh, so, uh, Bruno Pavlovsky, president of fashion and president of Chanel SAS, said... Uh, that the French luxury house produced the calendar as part of this year's celebrations of the 100th anniversary of Chanel No. 5 perfume. And it did not expect a negative feedback. Why would anybody dare consider giving negative feedback to a piece of shit that costs 700 euro or $825 that only has stickers in there? Magnet. There's a mag There's a dust bag, a little pouch for cream. Empty pouch for a cream. Samples, 1.5 mil. Sample of a perfume, yeah, two, yeah. More stickers, yeah. Bracelet with a bottle cap <laughs> looking wax seal, yeah. Sure. Anyway, he was not expecting the negative. So this is already, when I, when I read this, I thought to myself, how could he not be expect? Who does he think that we're dumb, that we're idiots? Well, some of us are because a lot of people bought this thing. Yes, but no says, I'm sure Bruno is shocked by how ungrateful people are. Interesting point. Yes, but no, because we're going to get to that. Listen to what he allegedly had to say. Allegedly. But WWD is quoting him. So, But just to save our butts, we say allegedly. We ain't that dumb, Mr. BB. Mr. BP. Bruno Pavlovsky, BP. This controversy is a bit of a shame, allegedly, says Bruno. Yeah, a shame for you, Chanel. But anyway, this controversy is a bit of a shame because it was not what Chanel intended. Chanel thought it, it would please some of its customers by offering this type of product. Already so freaking shady. Some, yeah, it, would have, it, it, it did please the dumb ones. Sorry, you guys who bought this thing and are coming for me. Oh, my God. You should see the comments of the people that actually bought the calendar and hate me for calling out the calendar because they feel like I'm attacking the people. I don't care if you bought the calendar or not. Just let me have my opinion on, on how crappy this thing is. So I love the fact that he says <laughs> Chanel thought it would please some of its customers by offering this type of product. And I'm already girl. The sh oh, god. oh my god and then he he, he he it gets better evidently oh my god i just oh he says allegedly evidently we see that you have to be careful and therefore in future we will certainly be much more cautious Pavlovsky told WWD on Monday, allegedly. Asked whether this was the first time that Chanel produced an advent calendar, the executive said, No, I don't think so, but it wasn't necessarily for sale. What he says is, if you read between the lines, is that the advent calendar they made in the past was a freebie given out to special clients and VIPs. Because... That's what it is. Um, he added that the <clears throat> 2021 calendar was produced in a very limited run, which was totally sold out. Whoop! Whoop! That nose just grew, Mr. Bruno Pavlovsky, because I've been checking out your website, Missy. You made it artificially sell out after you launched it. And then a couple of days later, it popped up again as available. It's all marketing ploy. So not only... Are you throwing shade at your customers? But I also caught you in a big, fat Pinocchio moment. Moving on. A spokesman confirmed it was the first time Chanel had offered a calendar for sale. This year's edition retails for $825 and contains 27 boxes numbered from 5 to 31, containing full-size perfume and makeup products. One 
full-size perfume. Two full-size makeup products. That's three out of 27. What are we going to do with the other 23 uh, bits left? Um, make uh, miniatures and souvenirs stamped with founder Gabriel Coco Chanel's lucky number five in a video that has been viewed many times by this uh, by TikTok creator Elisa Harmon. Uh, uh, she expressed her disappointment over items including stickers, a picture flip book, a dust bag, and a string brace bracelet with a wax seal shaped pendant. Um, she later alleged that the Chanel's TikTok account blocked her. Chanel then said, no, we never activated our Chanel TikTok. We, we couldn't have blocked her, so she lying. Um, I have reached out for comment. I've reached out to Miss Harmon. Uh, she has not uh, responded. So, go figure. <laughs> she did not care to respond. She declined... Well, she didn't decline. She didn't. Uh, no, she didn't decline. She did not write anything back. Declining means you write back and you say, I don't want to answer. She did not decline. She just did not answer at all. So, OK, well. In an official statement, Chanel said the claim was absolutely inaccurate. <laughs> they don't have an active TikTok account. Oh, girl, absolutely inaccurate. Say you're freaking sorry. Apologize. Instead of always being a nah, 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 nah. So moving on, Chanel allegedly says, we have never blocked access to the Chanel TikTok account to anyone because it is simply not active. My God. Uh, it has never been activated. No content has ever been published. It has no subscribers and no subscriptions. <laughs> the page therefore appears empty to anyone who visits it. The house clarified crying. I added the crying bit. Just for entertainment purposes, because otherwise this is really sad. Um, so <laughs> I should read the, all of these comments as if I'm like, cry, like Chanel is crying, right? Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, you guys. Are we going to go for it? Are we going to go for that? We're begging for that. We're dying for that. Okay, then they went on, again, allegedly said, when Miss, when, when Miss Harmon visited our page, <laughs> she naturally found the usual message. <laughs> she could not access this account, just like anyone else on the network. <laughs> Ciao. We are very committed to sharing our world and our creations with our followers on social networks. Our pages are open to everyone, and millions of followers follow us all over the world. <laughs> they are, of course, free to express their feelings and opinions, whether they are enthusiastic or critical. Oh, my God! <laughs> Um, if they respect the rules of good conduct in accordance with the uses of social networks, <laughs> no defamation, no calls to violence, no threats or intimidation, Chanel said. <clears throat> And then, then they, then they, keep, then <laughs> yeah, Alina, very Evita moment. Don't cry for me, Chanel. Oh my God. Then they said, we are aware of the comments that are currently visible under our publications. <laughs> and we, and we are sorry that this calendar may have disappointed some people. The spokesperson continued. And now you see they're not accepting this. They're, they're still like some people, you know, the dumb ones. <clears throat> and then they keep on going, directly inspired by the mythical silhouette of the number five bottle, this calendar only available for a short period. That doesn't make it good. It's still shit. 
um, has a unique design and an original content, which makes it a true collector's item whose value cannot be summed up by the products it contains alone. Chanel said, let me, you guys, let me just, um, let's, let me translate this to you in real talk. The sh the, this is disgusting. This is their PR team making it even worse for themselves by saying it, this uh, product is a unique, unique design and an original content, which makes it a true collector's item whose value cannot be summed up by the products it contains alone. But you gave it a very precise value of $825 plus tax. <clears throat> so you're literally saying in the statement that the contents are not worth it. That's literally what you are. You're saying that what you put in this calendar is not worth $825. What you are saying, however, is that we, the idiots, have to spend the $825 because it has a logo on it. Because you're saying, Chanel, that because it's Chanel, we, the idiots, shouldn't question the authority of and the worth. We should just spend the money for it. How dare we? How dare we even question whether or not this is worth the $825 plus tax? That's what you're saying here between the lines, Chanel. Let's be very clear about this. <clears throat> Pavlovsky said a special effort had been made to use more sustainable materials... He uh, quoted, to have allegedly said, I think it is one of the most beautiful ever made, both in terms of design and the materials used. Now, listen, let's dissect this. He says that an effort has been made to use sustainable materials. Yes, you're using a biodegradable pulp to create a bottle that you sneeze on it and it degrades because if, if this thing gets wet, it falls apart with time. Uh, <clears throat> biodegradable. Mm -hmm, I see. So now Chanel again is making it even worse because they're playing into, you know, you know, it's very fashionable nowadays to talk about sustainability, but it's all greenwashing really, because if you think about it, um, a lot of the products in here are plastic so the container might not be, but everything inside of it is. And also, Chanel, let's talk about the presentation you made worldwide. Your entrance to Herod's, the, the, to Celebration Number 5, I don't think that was made in biodegradable paper pulp. I don't think that was sustainable. Your whole installation in Rockefeller Plaza in New York was not sustainable with all the installations made in all materials but biodegradable materials. I don't think that was sustainable. And let's talk about this calendar that was gifted to the big influencers. How did Chanel deliver? You know, there are videos online. Just go check them out yourself. You have these influencers filming like, oh my gosh, Chanel is sending me a present, you guys. Let me film its arrival. Talk about sustainability. Chanel hired these guys on little mopeds. The mopeds had Chanel branding all over it. So you have, you're paying a driver to pollute the city by driving a, a little moped with one advent calendar attached to the back of the moped. <clears throat> this is how they were delivered for the ones who got them for free. If you were an idiot to have to pay for it, you had to drive your ass alone to the shop and get one and hope that the sales associate would save one for you. But for the influencers that actually got this freebie, because let's face it, this is a freebie, for free, they got a driver on a little motorino, moped, Vespa, driving to their apartments, houses, homes, villas, mansions, delivering just one advent calendar. So all talk about sustainability, Chanel. Talk about polluting the environment by delivering just one of these embarrassing products for free to people. And of course, everybody was asked to film and share on social media how they got this wonderful delivery to them <clears throat> of the advent calendar for free. So uh, sustainable? How? How is that sustainable? I just, I, I really, I don't see the sustainability there. Um, so then uh, to end it, uh, Pavlovsky uh, allegedly says, certainly next time we will think of another way to do this type of thing. Um, I think that certain categories of products may be more suitable. In particular, beauty. That could be a great idea, you think? 
In any case, the objective is to promote our products and not to trigger any controversy, and even less to create frustrations or to send the wrong signals, he said. <clears throat> okay. Um, how can this be? How can this be, Chanel, <laughs> that, that, that you just now are thinking about, yeah, well, okay, yeah, mm, yeah, maybe more beauty products, like, what do you losers want to see in this advent calendar? Oh, and by the way, bitches, if you think this one was expensive, next year we're going to throw in two more creams, and it's going to cost you 1600 Like, that's what they're going to play. <laughs> you want to bet that next year, if they even dare make another one, because I think they might not even go there next year, but if they do, you best believe it's probably going to cost double. Because, Chanel, why don't you address also your price increases? <clears throat> but not increasing quality. Let's talk about that. So what, next year's advent calendar? I'm really looking forward to it because it's a lot of great content for us. So anyway, you guys, that's it <laughs> from me. Oh, and if you wish to see a really fun advent calendar, check out my version of it on my Coco Chanel is in my house Instagram profile, all spelled together, uh, just a fan profile dedicated to my Chanel collection. Because yes, we keep it real here, but I do love the brand. You know I love Chanel and I call them out when they make mistakes, but I'm not here throwing shade at them for no reason. This is a good, me being a client of them since I can breathe, walk, and talk. I've loved Chanel. So if I say something against this, it's because I'm really upset. Not because I'm just some oompa loompa on the internet wanting to throw shade at Chanel. You know I love Chanel. You know I spend a lot of money at Chanel. But this ain't it, Chanel. Anyway, if you wish to see a fun little advent calendar, I've taken a little screenshot of you for you of um, my Coco Chanel is in my house. Um, Instagram uh, profile so you get to see this is these are photos that I've taken well mine is the two ladies the, those are photos uh, from Chanel runways uh, but the photos that I take um, well the three ladies the, I didn't I didn't draw this either but all the other photos are taken by me these are this is my collection this is my photographic version of what I consider to be a cool Chanel advent calendar so you get every day a new little door opens up and uh, you get a new little image just as a kind of a fantasy moment so that's that's how much i love chanel i actually spend a lot of time taking these freaking pictures so anyway thank you so much for watching uh leslie says i um i saw the post with the wheat pin and learned something thank you oh thank you so much leslie um asia says they should call you Jacob, to create next year's calendar they should call me to create more than just that let's leave it at that thank you guys so much for watching Thank you so much for partaking in this conversation. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel, thumb up this video, share the love, leave me all your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. And until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love y'all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.